Hey girl, am I late? Whew. I am here to receive that tea. I am here to help you clear your conscience, okay? All jokes aside, girl, welcome back. Hey, best friend. What's up, my beautiful Glamazons? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you guys that are new here, welcome to the Glam Fam, girl. You have come to the right place. Today's video is going to be one of my pretty petty confessions where you guys release all that pressure on your chest of all the ratchet things you guys have been doing out in the world, okay? This is where you say it out loud and move on with your life. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Nikki. I tell stories, uh, pretty petty confessions, ask Nikki's, which are like advice videos, fashion, makeup, and you know, stuff like that. So if any of those things interest you, I would love to have you be a part of my Glam Fam and meet me here every week for the tea. Speaking of, make sure you have that bell notification turned on as well so you don't miss out on any new videos. Okay, so I am so excited today because Pretty Petty Confessions has very quickly become one of my favorite series on my channel because y'all are messy. Y'all, I thought... <laughs> I thought my stories were messy and I thought like some of the shit that I was doing was messy, but look, okay, I cannot take that away from y'all at all. I think y'all really took the cake with that one and um, quite frankly, I've been learning a thing or two and a thing or two from y'all. <laughs> Anyways, girl, it is time to get your butt into the confessional and we are going to go over some pretty petty confessions. Grab your wine, grab your snacks, make sure you got your blanket, you cozy in because I just have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of cheese okay? So I'm gonna move over here. This is definitely gonna be a lot more work for me, but I personally like seeing the comments or like the message come up on the screen while I'm, you know, watching videos. So I decided maybe you would too you guys let me know your thoughts down below if you like this or not but um i'm gonna have the comments of course their name will not be involved it will be blurred out because i don't need nobody's tea being everybody's tea you know what i mean <sighs> okay mark this time down so you guys can tell everybody in the comments this is where the video begins <laughs> if you guys are wondering how to submit your pretty petty confessions definitely follow me on my instagram at nikki glamour girl um i update you guys every single day on there but on my stories i let you know when i am filming and when to start sending me your pretty petty confessions i make it easy for you guys to submit your confessions on there so definitely give me a follow over there so i'm just gonna pull up my instagram and we're just gonna start reading are you ready? I want to be on this side because it's my good side. You can film me, record me, take pictures of me right here. Don't you come over here. Thank you. I poured contact solution in my abusive ex-boyfriend's drink. He's still alive, but I felt bad after. What happens if you drink contact solution? Do you die for real? I didn't know that. I need to do some research because like, could you have killed him? Oh my God. Confession received, girl. I'm very gay and my parents don't know it, but they will and they will love you for it. Don't be scared, okay? I slept with my baby dad and his girlfriend has no idea. Never again, girl. You sure about that? You sure about that? Who you trying to convince? <laughs> my childhood best friend had sex with my boyfriend so I crashed his new car. But does he know, did you just, did you just admit to a crime here? No, 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 no. Been with my husband seven years and I just don't feel the love anymore and I wanna move on. Well then girl, you should, life is too short. Uh, this is not no ass, Nikki. Some of y'all be trying to come through with these questions. Y'all tried it, so I slept with his cousin again. He didn't find out, but I felt good. Wow, not the brother, but the cousin. Okay, girl, I see you, I see you. I lost my B card to a friend years down the road. I got with his cousin. He cheated, so. <laughs> I steal money from my mom when she gets on my nerves. Yes, I know this is bad, but I stop. Do you though? You'll be thieving from your mama. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame. You know, I be thieving my mama's makeup sometimes. I be thieving like, you know, her scarves that I like. I be thieving some of her accessories. I was in love with my best friend and she broke my heart, so I slept with her man. I started dating my frenemy's ex-boyfriend. Didn't we all though? When my sister washes her beauty blender, I put it in the toilet and let it dry. She annoying. Thank you, Lord, for not giving me a sister. Hey girl, I lost my V card on my dad's birthday. Still to this day, he don't know. Was in a sorority and slept with the sister's man for the entirety of our college career. I swear girls in sororities be claiming they're so, so close, but I didn't know that y'all was that close. I would watch pornography when I was six because I didn't have any friends. Long story. 
long story pertaining to why you didn't have any friends or a long story pertaining to why your little ass was over there watching porn when you were six. Ay, mama. You were just a baby. Confession received. I'm in love with my besties man for two years but have never said or done anything about it. That's stubborn. You in love with him? Oh, girl. I'm a telepath, but my parents think I suffer from treatment-resistant schizophrenia. You know, I really did have some family that thought anxiety was a demon, girl. So, I'm so sorry. Like, mental health really needs to be a topic of conversation in everybody's family. I think it's my fault that my friendships were negatively affected by the quarantine. I'm usually an honors and A plus student, but I'm feeling extremely unmotivated. Girl, I think that's everybody. That's everybody right now. Confession received. I've been cheating on my husband with a girl from work for three months now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Confession received. Wow. Why are y'all playing these games with me? What is this? I just had with my ex, even though I know he's seeing someone else. Really? Really? You made me feel like I was in middle school all over again. I just love you. You friends that, wow. <laughs> I was feeling a little sad and lonely, so I started to trade nudes and sex with random guys on Snap. I mean, I just feel like, girl, if you're gonna do that, like, you know, like, make a little coin. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Then I call your goodies for nothing. <laughs> I willingly lost my virginity to my cousin's cousin at the age of 15. He was 23. I lost my virginity to one of my dad's younger acquaintances. He was only six years older than me. Oh Lord. I lost my virginity to my best friend's brother. Her brother and I were the same age and she's younger. Uh, I don't know why it always happened that way, but it's always your friend's brother. It's always, and it's like your bestie too. It's always their, it's always their brother. It's like a good, like, bring it on moment. You know what I mean? Girl, first, I need to give you some info so this all makes sense. My aunt, my mom's sister, and her daughter don't like each other that much. We just don't vibe at all. Especially with my aunt because she's that one that likes to stir up family drama and be all up in everyone's business. And she is so, so disrespectful and be talking to my mama rude, calling her name, so that's that. Oh, and she thinks that her kids are angels and perfect church girls. Anyways, that's that. But long story short, a few years ago I went to a party and there was this well-known F-boy there and he was trying to talk to me and be flirtatious and whatnot. Anywho, he got really messed up and ended up passing out. My friend decided to go through his phone to see, you know, how many girls he was messaging and whatnot. Girl, why do we always do that? Why do we always... Well, girl, we found my cousin's girl along with many, many other girls and his DMs and nude pics. Girl! And my cousin has a man and has a baby with him and have been together for eight years. So, you know, I had to click, click and take pictures of all their messages and take pictures of her number and the contact name. So, I'm just waiting for the perfect moment to, you know, link it to her mama, her man. Like, come at me, mama, one more time, I dare you, and I will pour all the tea. But if you read this, thank you so much. I love your videos and your beautiful family. Stay safe, love you all. <laughs> When I was younger, when my sister made me angry, I used to put soap in my sister's contact case. As an avid contact wearer since the age of 12, that hurt me in my soul. My ex-boyfriend cheated on me with a 13-year-old and he's 17. Now, I'm dating his best friend. Mine is my friend's girlfriend is a webcam girl and uploads to Pornhub on the regs. Every single guy that I've dated has hit me up after we broke up and they have girlfriends. I caught my ex in bed with his baby mama, so I stabbed his J's and his tires. Not his J, really where it's gonna hurt him in the heart. Not his J's and then the top. You done went after his J's and his tires, girl, okay. I got my now fiance arrested after he lied about deleting combos, but he will never know it was me. I kissed two of my cousins. Confession received. Confession received. I don't even want to resent. Confession received. I cheated on my boyfriend in the parking lot of his apartment building. Were you there for a D appointment and then you just went ahead and had some appetizer D before you went in? 
Okay. My stepdad called me a bitch, so I scrubbed his motherfucking toothbrush in the toilet. Hashtag, sorry, not sorry. I fell in love with my brother's best friend. You know, I think my brother really does thank God that we are six years apart because straight up, like, there was no way in hell that I would have been able to be with any of his friends. Like, ever, ever. They would have died. Oh my God, they would have died. Like, my brother would have... <laughs> a friend sent me a video of her dancing. She has no rhythm. And I sent it to my best friend and we had a good laugh. <laughs> My pretty petty confession is that I have been together with my current husband for five years. We had a off period for a couple of months. During that time, I had an entanglement with this other dude. Well, we ended up getting pregnant and he went to prison. Of course, me being the pretty petty bitch that I am, I dumped his ass and got back with the dude that I had been with before. He was there for the whole pregnancy, every midnight craving, every back rub, and has been there since birth of my daughter. He has raised her like his own, bought us a house and a family car, and I'm very appreciative of that. The problem is the original baby daddy just got out of prison and wants to be a family, which of course I turned down, but I did let him come over once to see the baby. And we ended up hooking up and now I'm pregnant and don't know who the baby daddy is. Oh my God, it felt so good to get that off my chest. I'm not even 0.1% through the Pretty Petty Confessions that have been submitted to me. So if y'all want some more Pretty Petty Confession videos, I have so many confessions that I can do. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know. This has been so much fun. Thank y'all so much for coming to chill with me for Pretty Petty Confessions. And thank you for trusting me with your secrets. I hope you feel better. I hope you let it off your chest a little bit. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram so that you know the next time that I'm filming so you can submit your Pretty Petty confession but honestly girl I probably have an arsenal to like last at least six weeks full of pretty petty confessions so let me know how are you feeling about this series do you enjoy it do you want to see more I love you guys so much if you're not a part of my glam fam I would love to have you here and see you every single week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell girl so you are always aware of every time your girl uploads a new video I don't want you to miss out I want to see your fine ass here every single time thank you so much for being here and keeping this series alive I really really appreciate you guys let me know your thoughts down below especially about these pretty petty confessions no judgment okay love y'all so so much and i will see your fine ass in my next video peace out girl